Hey, everybody, I'm John Granado, and that's Josh Jordan. You can hear us on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5 and see Josh's work at sportsmaphouston.com. Hit subscribe. Do it. So you get all of our content. A lot of Astros content here at SportsMap H-O-U. So, and I know you love your Astros. Astros are taking some heat, Josh, from the fan base because other teams are swinging for the fences, and the Astros really haven't done anything. Given Dana Brown's emphatic statements about Yiner and Chaz, do you think the Astros feel like they've made some additions by subtraction with Dusty Baker not being there and these guys will actually be on the field this year? 100%. I mean, just think of the difference from Yiner in there instead of Maldi on a day-to-day basis. You know, how much – that's not a black hole in your lineup anymore. That's big. You know, they came out and said Chaz is going to play every day. You know, whether it's left field, center field, whatever, having Chaz in there every day. You know, all the ridiculous lineups you don't have to worry as much about. And, you know, even the – you know, going to Montero in high leverage situations when he was terrible last season, mm-hmm. ERA over five. You know, I think back to game six of the World Series – they're down four to two in the ninth inning. And what does Dusty do? He brings in Montero and he gets lit up and the game gets, you know, just completely turns into a blowout. So I don't think Joe Espada is going to do stuff like that. Like if you think about it, they didn't even use Ryan Presley in game six and seven. So I think there's a lot of managerial things that can help this team this year. Well, and I think it's standing pat. They're still one of the best lineups in baseball. And if you actually get the guys that are, you're supposed to, you mentioned Montero. Right, he was much better the year before. Yep. How about getting a Montero better? How about getting Javier better? How about getting Fromber better? How about getting Hunter Brown better? How about another year at JP France? It seems like you can improve drastically, not by getting new players, but by getting the players that you thought that they were supposed to be. A hundred percent. And we know this with bullpens in particular, it's real kind of up and down from year to year. You know, Maton bounced back, had a really nice year this past season. You know, Stanek had a great year the year before and then kind of struggled this year. So it's just kind of the nature of relief pitching. And I do think with the starters, I think Javier can definitely bounce back. And, you know, Verlander was really good in the playoffs this season, not so much the year before. So I think it's just kind of the ebbs and flows of pitching. But I also look at they spent a lot of the money last year where they're they're standing pat this year. You know, Verlander, they spent it's a lot of money to have Verlander. They got him. They got Abreu last year. You know, maybe Abreu is one of those guys that he had a down year last year. Maybe he could bounce back this year. So I think there's a lot of room for improvement. And they were one game away from the World Series. They don't have that far to go. Yeah. And speaking of improvement, before we go, Kyle Tucker, yeah. I'm hearing a lot of the fan base. You know, not. I mean, I thought for sure there'd be an uproar after losing all of the guys that the Astros have lost. But Kyle Tucker's postseason is starting to grow now, and it's not. It, it's it's getting to be a pretty big sample size now, and he's just not performing in the postseason, especially this past postseason. And I think a lot of people are wondering, maybe maybe Kyle Tucker isn't built for this team because you know what this team does? It steps up in the postseason, and Kyle Tucker hasn't. It does, but as we kind of talked about earlier in the conversation, Altuve was terrible in the playoffs before you know this past uh, playoff season, uh, you know last year, not this one we just came from. So that stuff can happen, you know. Well, but Altuve has a lot of huge hits. Even yes. you know, I know he went zero for twenty five right. last year in the postseason, but he's also had huge hits for this team. What's Kyle Tucker's big moment? I mean, you think of, you know, the World Series against the Phillies where he hit those home runs in game one that they eventually lost that game. So that's kind of the, the big game I look at with Kyle Tucker. If we could see some more of that, that would be fantastic. But, you know, even Jordan's been hot and cold in different playoff series. You're, you're, you're playing the best pitchers. These are the highest stakes games. And it's going to be tough. Yeah, but Jordan, the Seattle game, the Philadelphia game, I mean, he's a legend forever. I'm just wondering if the fan base isn't going to turn, if they got another post season next year which they probably will if Kyle Tucker doesn't perform again I could certainly see where the fan base and the organization would say you know you're great in a regular season but we got to have more look that's fair if he does that again you can have that opinion and doesn't look like Tucker's going to be back anyway just based on the contract he's going to want to get which is why I'm a I'm kind of okay with how they're approaching this offseason they haven't done a whole lot but they're they're kind of just barely over the tax threshold and I think they'll get under it before the season's over and Chandler Roan pointed out you know those compensatory you picks you get you know if you're under that that tax threshold the one you get for Bregman that'll be after the second round as opposed to after the fourth round yeah you don't want that that. that's a big difference difference. and with Altuve same deal even 
even though I think they'll bring him back. And that's why I kind of like the Caratini signing is it's, it, it's not costing you a lot. It gives you somebody that can swing a left-handed bat. He's a switch hitter. You don't have a lot of lefties in your lineup. He can play some first base too. That's where I think that Dusty kind of messed up with Abreu, an older player playing so many games. Yeah. It, you know, Just give him a break every now and then. And you saw him come alive in the postseason because I think he was a, a little more rested. Well, after his injury, he yeah. came back, he was a different guy. Yeah. Right. Right. So I, I think they're in a good spot. I don't blame them for not going crazy here. They need to do something to rebuild the farm system. And let's face it, they hired Dana Brown to help rebuild this farm system. You don't want to be taking away quality picks from him to do that job. Nope.